Hello YouTube and welcome to the first video in a series of tutorials that I will be making for people who who are subscribed to me that either aren't very fast learners and they want me to go more in depth um, with Java and um, teach them step by step and take little baby steps or people who just I don't know I think I just said people who want to go more in depth or people who are slow learners so if you fall into that category then you're in the right place so in this first tutorial we aren't going to be doing any programming at all I'm just going to be explaining to you what is Java and um, why we have it so on every computer um, there are programs that you can use and um, they do not require any type of programming experience to use them like um, opening up this this folder um, it executes code that um, will open up the folder and then open up this video um, you can see that it will play the video and then pausing that executes code so you can see that um, everything that happens on a computer is because of code now on this computer it's not using Java to run all of this but that's just another language similar to Java um, it does the same thing it makes the computer run so um, computers are not smart at all they have no intelligence whatsoever all they do is they just execute a, a sequence of tasks that you tell them to do um, and in object oriented programming which is what Java is um, I'll go more in depth into that later but in Java you use algorithms just like any other language to run a program so let's say um, you make like a sims game or something and they click a button it's gonna run an algorithm let's, this is just gonna be like a really simple game so it's gonna give the steps like wake up um, eat breakfast get dressed or whatever you want it to do it's gonna do what you tell it to do but not what you want it to do which is um, very frustrating a lot of times when you're programming the computer so um, back a long time ago in like the 1950s um, and 60s when computers were first being made um, they did not have um, code and they did not have object oriented code of course if they didn't have any um, so back when computers were first being made um, the 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 people that run that ran the computers would have to put in different numbers into the memory to uh, execute tasks and um, it was very tedious and it, there were a lot of errors and it was hard to find and fix them so um, moving on after they did that they created programming which was basically the same thing except it made it a lot easier and they used line by line so the program would read one line and execute that code then read another line and execute that code and then later on after that they created object oriented programming which is what Java is and basically what this does is it doesn't read it line by line you can create like bake a cake you can put that somewhere else and you can put like go swimming somewhere else and um, then you can call that and it will do that and it doesn't go line by line so that's one of the beauties of Java it, it makes it to where you don't have to um, write things over and over and over so Java was made by a group of, um, that was led by a guy named James Gosling and um, it, was, it was made by Sun Microsystem um, and um, they started off in 1991 and um, the language that they made it, they wanted it to be simple and architecture neutral which basically means that um, no matter what type of computer you're running on what operating system it's gonna run the same on all of that and um, the way they do this is they create whenever you run the Java code it's going to run the same on every computer 
because it creates what's called a Java virtual machine and it runs that code on that so it's not CPU uh, dependent the CPU processes it but it's not going to vary based on what kind of CPU you have so when you're writing code in Java you're going to use something called a compiler and here's an example of a compiler right here um, and what you do is you create projects and you write your code and you put your code inside of classes which are pretty much these um, these files right here main class.java which is a a class file and um, that's where you're gonna put all your code so basically that's gonna this is gonna be the end of the tutorial that's just uh, an explanation um, probably a terrible explanation because I'm not a very good teacher but um that's just an explanation of what coding is and what Java is. Um, so go ahead and move on to the next tutorial. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe.